needs to hear this, but the grass isn't always greener on the other side. When I was younger, I dated someone who was seemingly an amazing man, an amazing boyfriend, but he had a few little quirks, a few little things that honestly could have been looked past. But because of what I saw on social media, I was just over the relationship. And I'm sure there were other things that went on during that relationship. The major reason that I left was because I wanted more than what that relationship was willing to give me at that time. Which is so ridiculous because he was an amazing partner. I don't have regrets, I'm just putting that out there, but we were just growing together, but I was so impatient and I saw what these guys were giving their girlfriends and I wanted that. Ugh. If you have a good, good, good man, and I'm not talking about a man who is abusive mentally, physically, or anything like that, but a man who you know in your heart is a good man and he just needs a little bit of time, do not push him off or do not throw him to the side for another man just because of what you see and just because of what you think you will get. Keep in mind that you have no idea what's going on behind closed doors with these relationships. You could get rid of a good man and start dating a man who could provide for you, but he probably beats you up every night and he is abusive and he financially abuses you or anything could happen. So I say all that to say the grass is not greener on the other side. It's always going to be greener where you water it. Welcome to the coffee pod. My name is Chisha Zed. Listen. What she just described right there is exactly what you're going to see happen more and more as time goes forward. Listen to what she just said. Found a good man. And it sounds like she dated other men after that who she thought were going to give her more. More what? We're talking about money here. We're talking about resources. We know the conversation already surrounding what women, modern women today expect for men. They expect those men to pay all the bills. They expect those men to give them what they unrealistically, unrealistically believe that they deserve. Just how she was talking about him was a younger dude. And what she was expecting from him, he could not provide until later. And why I think so many chicks are going to go through exactly what this woman just described she went through, losing out on a good guy, is because whenever you have somebody who comes in and tries to derail that type of thinking, to save these chicks, to offer them some coffee, they don't listen. I just saw this exact same thing happen recently with another woman who was giving advice and saying some of us women are going to have to go 50-50 on bills and these chicks lost their minds. They couldn't believe it. Some of us women need to accept that to get a good man, we are going to have to go 50-50 financially in our relationships. Ladies, I know you're mad. Stay with me, please. Please do not let this ridiculous social media narrative fool you. This narrative that men have to have it all together and have to be able to pay for your whole lifestyle, a luxury lifestyle like that, before they are worthwhile human beings. Because honestly, that mindset is trash and it's not realistic. And I'm not saying this because I can't get one of those men. Because A, very few of those men exist. B, the ones that do exist are not accessible to a lot of women. And C, at that level, those kind of men often tend to be super, super entitled, disrespectful, and really see women as commodities to be used and traded. You see, I don't like that. Why do we have to demonize these men who are at the top and so now they're exercising their options. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it is easy to look at somebody who's worked hard and he's dating and he has the pick of the litter because women today mostly value resources and don't look to a man for leadership or, or anything else. It's easy to look at that guy and say, look at him, he's just greedy and he wants all the chicks. When the truth is most of these guys out here would do the exact same thing. Very few of them would settle down, marry. No, most of them, when they get to the top, they would do the exact same thing. It's very easy to look and then judge them as not being good whatsoever. And the reality is a lot of men at that level are headed to jail at some point, maybe not today, but at some point in their life, either what? through the way they got the money or the way they use the money. For most men, the majority of men, they are pretty much in the corporate or the business world where they're growing their own business. And these men are either in the point of their life where they're growing their career or growing their business. That does not happen overnight, especially if you are doing things legally and by the book. And ladies, if you want a man that you want to build a life with and start a family with, I would encourage you to get with a man who is doing things 
pretty much legally and by the book. And the truth of these kind of men is you do not start, you know, your career. Hold on, hold on. We know they, 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 lo they love men out here breaking the law. We know they love it. Or your business and make lump sum tomorrow. That is why I think it's the top 1% starts from like 100 grand. So outside of that top 1% is 99% of men. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication to make a large amount of money. So even if you meet a man in his 20s, in his 30s, even in his 40s, he might not be there yet. And in reality... Hold on, guys, real quick. I got to grab stuff. What can I get for you today? Hey, can I get um, ice Americano, grande, extra shot of espresso, black? Yeah. Grande ice triple shot. Uh, just kidding. Grande ice quad shot Americano. What I'm, else? I'm gonna report you for making fun of me with my coffee. Making fun of me on your coffee? Yeah. <laughs> just uh, just that. All right. I was the other one. Do you mind if I just get your name? Cool. See you at the window. All right, thanks. I don't know if you guys heard that. This chick was just making fun of me uh, for the way I was ordering my coffee. I was probably sounding real LA. I had to take a little break. Just got my coffee right here. Let's get back into this. Um, for those of you who are curious. I've been drinking ice Americanos the whole year, you know, and I get them with an extra shot. So four shots in total at your own risk. As long as a man is trying, there is nothing wrong with him not being exactly where he wants to be. There is also nothing wrong with you getting your bread up and you working towards being a 1% earner. If that's what you want for your life, because I'm sorry to say, ladies, a lot of us are sitting out with our hand out waiting for a meal ticket, waiting for a man to fund our life and our lifestyle. It is really important as a woman who wants to be part of a successful relationship and possibly family to understand the concept of partnership. And it's really unfortunate because I think the narrative is that women have made it seem like if a man is paying all your bills, you're special. And if a woman doesn't have a man paying all her bills, she's less than. No woman is less than you because she understands that she has to contribute to her life and her lifestyle. Real wealth and real stability in a relationship comes when everybody knows they are covered. So your man should also operate in the mindset that he knows that if he's trying, because you should only be dealing with men who are trying to self-improve. So if he's trying and he has times where he's down, you are going to be there as his partner and his love to cover him and support him. On the dun, dun, dun. They didn't like that. Support him in what way? I hope you're not talking about financial. Hell no. On the other side of that, knowing that you're a woman who is loyal and will support him as long as he's trying, when the success does come, when the riches do come, he won't have any qualms about sharing that with you and making sure you enjoy it just as much, if not more, than he does. Now, am I saying go and pick up a broke man? No, but understand that men are just not always going to be up. Life happens to everybody. And in my current relationship, I am enjoying the comfort that comes with having a man who is doing well for himself. However, I fully understand that if his situation were to change and he needed my help, that I would need to and would happily step up financially because I am not a child. I am a partner in this partnership. I know they hated this video. I'm tempted to jump into these comments. I know they hated this video, bro. I strongly believe, and I could not be any stronger in the belief, that women should have their own finances. I really detest this era we're in of, of women coming on and saying, you know, this is how I spend my day as a stay-at-home girlfriend or a stay-at-home wife. Because it only shows one side of the coin. And a lot of stay-at-home girlfriends and wives, not all, are being abused in some way, shape or form. Let's talk the truth. They are either financially, abused, emotionally, physically abused and all of that connects to control. They are heavily controlled by these men because these men control the finances. And if someone controls the finances, they control your movement, they control your decisions. You are an adult and it is not safe to be dependent on another adult for your freedom of movement. Now, obviously, I understand that that is sometimes unavoidable with things like, you know, pregnancy, child rearing, etc. But that's why you have to be very careful about the type of men you pick and not pick just based on finances. And let me tell you the truth. You're only going to get that type of man if the care and love is mutual.
I generally do not know that where this fairy tale of a man is going to work so hard to get all these riches and, you know, really build and create a life for himself, then pluck a lucky winner out of nowhere and invite her into this lifestyle with him for the rest of his life. That is a damn good question right there. Where did this delusion come from? It's like Eve all over in the Garden of Eden again and, and, and the lie from the serpent. Who, who, who is Disney to blame? What is it? Feminism? What do you guys think? Comment down below. And I, I'm talking about specifically the idea that there are millions of men, <laughs> high earning men out here who are waiting to uh, swoop these chicks up. You hear them talk, they'll say things like, oh, there's somebody out there for everybody. Yeah, right. Which men are you lot seeing? Because look around. That is not men's mindset. Men feed you and expect you to off your pants. You think a man is going to share his riches with you? What? Because you're pretty. The only women you see that live this kind of lifestyle with these men are the women that they came up with because they know that those women are going to be with them when they're down because they have been. Those women are going to support them because they already have. So as a woman, you need to be able to show a man that, yes, you expect his love, his support, but you are also willing to do the same mentally, emotionally and financially if needed. These men of today and I guess every day, but now we've got social media, they understand that women can be bought and women, we need to stop moving as purchasable commodities. A man should never be able to buy you. Your presence should never be dependent on a man's finances. Because in reality, women are whole and complete people with really strong brains that if we want to bring our brain and our thought process to growth for either helping a man or helping ourselves, we can go really far. So why would you want to be a woman that's lucky enough to find a man who's going to share with you? Because that's a risk. Instead of being a woman that's helped contribute to building, because then you actually have an equity stake. Because yes, looks are great, but we need to bring way more value than looks. Our value needs to be in our efficiency. Our value needs to be in our loyalty. Our value needs to be in the comfort, um, the words of affirmation we speak when things aren't looking great. And these are the things we need to be expecting from men, not just money. Because if there's money, money will always be there. But what you really should be holding a man to the fire for is his time is his ability to comfort and encourage when you are down. There has to be an expectation on both sides that we are pouring into each other's cup and we are not depleting from each other. These are the things that are valuable in a relationship. Because let me tell you something, a money maker is always going to make money. Now, I have to address this because I know when I post this video, I'm going to open the comments and a woman or 10 is going to say, oh, but you know, you will do all this and you'll build a man and then he'll leave you when he gets up. Stop picking those kind of men. That's why I was very clear to say a man that is actively trying to become successful is actually trying to make something of himself. Because a lot of women will pick up men who really are ready to coast on her coattails and then be like, oh, but he didn't do anything. And then he'll leave you for someone better. Or if he happens to hit the jackpot, then he'll leave you because he never liked you that much anyway. Stop picking men who are not showing through their actions on a daily basis that they love, care and respect you. You don't get to justify this bad decision of complicit prostitution basically because the man you picked before did you dirty i'm not justifying it and i'm not excusing him what i'm saying is we can't as women keep ignoring red flags and then be upset when we don't escape the consequences of ignoring those red flags and yes i understand some men are just complete psychos so so tough in this day and scene but do your best do your due diligence and let god do the rest now, like I always say, there's always an exception to the rule for best results, assume it's not you. So guys, check this out. I'm gonna show you how screwed a lot of these chicks are. This is what I'm doing. We're checking out the comments, right? We're gonna check out these comments. She just recorded a 10 minute video with majority of facts all throughout it about how to be in a healthy relationship, how not to be a 304 gold digger, right? How not to value money over that person's personality. There are over 3000 comments of proof that modern women are cooked. Unfortunately, if they don't fix this type of mindset, 
they are cooked. Check this out. First comment here says, so proud of the girlies in the comment section with the laughing emoji. No 50-50 for us. And so she's congratulating the chicks for rejecting her message and being hard-headed. This is why when these chicks are crying alone in a car and complaining, it's hard to not look at the situation and say, but you wanted this, right? Because you didn't want to listen. This comment says, no, hope this helps, right? She says, no, as in just straight no. This next female commenter says, I can do bad or by myself. I'm with you when you write, sis, but nah, please don't settle for 50-50. Keep in mind that when these chicks say no 50-50, they also mean no 60-40, right? As in man paying the majority of the bills or no 70-30, right? Somebody else here says, no. These are top comments. Here's another comment that reads, I see average men being full on providers, just like my dad. You don't have to be rich to be a provider. This is, this is the, 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 the lack of understanding when it comes to economics here that these chicks just don't get. This is why they are screwed, brother. This is why they are screwed. They do not understand that you have to earn an above average income, for sure here in the States, for sure, to provide for a family. This next woman says, that's not a good man if he makes you go 50-50. She responds back and says, what? With laughing emoji. Sis, is he not good or is he not rich? To them, rich is good. Rich is good, right? Somebody else here says 50, 50 and good man don't go together. Another chick here says, I'd rather just be single and pay 100% of my bills than go 50, 50. Don't worry, ma'am, you will, right? Drink the coffee. This next chick says in the courting phase, absolutely no 50, 50 in a relationship. I'd rather us just live separately and take care of our own bills at this point. insanity these are the chicks man and what's gonna happen what's gonna happen is they won't realize this until it's too late until they're the previous chick we were just talking about before this exhibit c of another woman losing out on what potentially could have been a good man check it out okay so there's this guy and i went on a date with him and our date went terribly like after the date i was like i'm never talking to him again like no way but I have talked to him again. We have not gone on another date, but he calls me all the time. And, like, he's very emotionally intelligent and easy to talk to. So, like, I'll have a conversation with him. Anyways, um, I don't really, I don't know. I don't have, like, any feelings for him one way or the other, right? But he's just, like, a nice person to have on my line, I guess. I don't know. Regardless, um, he's been calling me forever. Or well, he's been calling me, like, nonstop the past two weeks. I just have not been in the mood to leave my house. So I'm finally in the mood to leave my house and I call him. And I'm like, hey, like, what you doing? I'm like, wait, are you on a plane? And he was like, no, I'm on a train to go to another city. I was like, oh. He was like, yeah, I'm like with my friend. I was like, oh, what y'all got planned? He was like, probably dinner tonight and then cook tomorrow. I was like, oh. 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 One word. Cooked. You're cooked. Drink the coffee. Listen, as always, I appreciate you guys for checking out yet another episode of the coffee pod another video from the prius till next time i'm out peace